Wayland here, East Coast Batteries, just doing some more testing with the projector power hub unit that we've been working on. So this one's got the Rely on Lithium deep cycle battery in there, so it's going to hook it up to the fridge and the work ute, um, run it without any charge going into it, and just see how long the fridge will run without any charge on the 100 amp hour Rely on battery through the power hub unit. So got an angle fridge in the ute there, and it's a 38 or 40 litre. Um, be pretty interesting to see what sort of runtime we'll get out of it. We'll let you know. We'll also um, do some tests if 120 and 125 amp hour AGM batteries, which is your more traditional setup, which most people will be using, but it'll help you know what you can get away with and how long you expect to run your fridge. No worries, watch the space. Hey, East Coast Batteries, just an update on how the Rely on Lithium battery is going, powering our fridge in the East Coast Batteries four wheel drive. So, the Rely on 100 amp hour Lithium battery in the projector power hub, um, and we're running the Angle MR40F. So it's a 38 or 40 litre fridge. It's been running non stop since Tuesday afternoon with no charge going into the lithium battery, just sucking the charge out with the fridge. So 91 hours it's been running so far. You can't really see it in the light at the moment um, through the camera, but it's 42% charge at the moment. So the, the smart battery gauge here is very, very good at communicating, especially for lithium battery because the voltage doesn't change. So you can't use the voltage on the battery to establish state of charge. So without this smart battery gauge, it would be really unknown how discharged this battery is. So the smart battery gauge takes all the guesswork out of it. Um, it's interesting battery voltage at the moment, or capacity should I say, because it's 42%. This is in the range where it would be harmful state of discharge or anything else, any other lead acid battery, whether it be an AGM or a conventional wet deep cycle battery. So. As where this lithium battery, it's happy to keep going down 100% discharge. So I've got some discharge specs here. So if you discharge this battery 100%, you'll be able to do that 7,000 times. So that's a lot of cycles out of the battery. So you can discharge it 100%, recharge it, that counts as a cycle. So if you do it to 100%, you've got 7,000 cycles. If you go 80%, you've got 13,000 13, cycles. Or well, if you only discharge it 50% and recharge it, you can do that 23,000 times. So those specs are phenomenal. So if you compare it to something more like a medium to top of the range battery here, like the Full River 120 amp hour deep cycle there, if you discharge that battery 50%, you'd be able to do that anywhere between, I'd say, maybe six, 700 times, which is quite a lot, because that's a premium battery. Your more competitive um, import AGM batteries, competitively priced ones, you might be able to do it 400 times discharge at 50%. So 400 cycles at 50% versus you can discharge this 100% 7,000 times. So this is where the lithium is really going to come into its own because the battery bank can be smaller because the um, because the battery can be used in so much more of its capacity. You can use 100% of its capacity. So if that was an AGM battery now, I would want to be putting some charge into that by now so I didn't um, cause harm to the AGM battery. As with a lithium one, it's going to happily get discharged down to 100%, which we'll eventually get to. It's taken longer than I thought, but it's a good job for the battery. So when we get it down to 100%, we can even leave it there for a year to discharge it 100% and recharge it up again with no worries at all. You wouldn't dare dream of doing that for lead acid batteries. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated with how much runtime we get out of this. Anyone's guess at the moment how far it's going to go, but I reckon it's going to be well and true to the other side of the weekend back into the, back into the work week. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you updated. East Coast Batteries, just an um, update on the projector power hub of the Rely on Lithium battery. We've been running the angle bridge in the back of the East Coast Batteries four wheel drive, uh, non stop with no charge. So we ended up getting the battery to run the fridge for 140 hours non stop until the battery had nothing left in it. So that is remarkable. So, to give you an idea of how long that is, that we put it on there, the fridge connected on Tuesday at 3 pm in the afternoon. Ran all the way back through till Monday to 11 a.m. So that's a ridiculous time with no charge. We put on a 25 amp charger and it charged in just over four hours and it's good to go again. So there's an idea on how good the battery is. And if you discharge it that low into a state of charge, like we did, you just discharge it 100%, you can do that 7,000 times on premium battery. So it's not like you're going to sacrifice any long life by using it that way, but at least now you've got some specs and a number on a sort of common size like a 40 litre angle fridge so you know how long you can run a rely on lithium battery and understand why it's such a good battery because it's 13 kilos the battery itself to use an AGM battery and have the same amount of usable power 
you would have to have about, I'd say, 55 kilos of battery in there, and it would be about twice the size, so you need two batteries to do the same thing at a lithium battery because you can discharge it lower. So we'll keep doing more product testing with this power hub and give you some more specs and try and get out and about more, maybe do some camping, go to the beach, stuff like that, and yeah, keep watching our space. Thanks, mate.